Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CHS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support, and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we've said, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above $3.90. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $3.90, I am not saying the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a big sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from more so the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes on, so as next week plays out, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So very basic, yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move. That right there I am defining as the move. Just watch the purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you're gonna best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 390, that would be great. But as far as the grand scheme of it all is concerned, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Pretty straightforward right now. On several occasions today, the price tried to get up through that area right around $4.10. And I get it, the price was up above there a few times, but the price never stayed up above $4.10 for very long at all. So $4.10 is gonna be that uh, you know public enemy number one going into next week, but really resistance levels don't matter that much. What do I say that? Well, what matters is what this chart has already been doing, and that is this right here. As long as the price can continue to build these higher bases, like it's been doing, or if you wanna picture those as stair steps. So as long as these stair steps remain in play, then given enough time, everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on healthy consolidations, focus on chipping away and building those higher lows, and sit back and let the trend do its thing. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.